Well, then who's to blame in the Senate? Because it seems like all of the Republican efforts die in the Senate. We know what's going to happen to this impeachment of Mayorkas. When it gets to the Senate, it's going nowhere. Mayorkas keeps his job. We know that the House did H.R. 2. It went nowhere in the Senate. Is that Mitch McConnell? Who's responsible? S sadly, it is. Look, it's Chuck Schumer, number one, and Chuck Schumer is... is is helping drive the train. Listen, we know Joe Biden's not driving the train. So so it's a combination of left-wing congressional Democrats and I think Barack Obama that are driving the train and and Joe Obama uh, Joe Biden is 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 Mr. Magoo just wandering around confused. Y you look at the Senate Senate Democrats want to do nothing to fix the border. They want to do nothing to, to, to turn the economy around. They want to do nothing to stop the crime we're seeing. And, and I got to tell you, with, with the Mayorkas impeachment, you know what Schumer wants to do? He doesn't even want to have a trial. He doesn't even want to have senators vote on guilty or not guilty. What he's trying to do is, is simply table it, just put it aside. In over 200 years of our nation's history, the Senate has never once tabled articles of impeachment. That has never happened. Every single time the Senate has voted, has voted on either guilt or innocence or the House has withdrawn the impeachment. In this instance, Joe Biden wants to protect even every Senate Democrat from voting whether Mayorkas is guilty or not. He is guilty. Ultimately, Joe Biden is guilty. But Mayorkas was the lead henchman in opening up the southern border. And, and, and I got to say, you know, look, if Republican leadership in the Senate doesn't like the criticism, Here's an opportunity to demonstrate some backbone. They could stand up and say, let's have a trial. They can stand up and say, you cannot refuse to even follow the constitutional process for impeachment. You can't dodge responsibility. That's what Schumer and the Democrats want to do. Senator Ted Cruz criticizes Joe Biden's leadership, comparing him to Mr. Magoo, causing concerns about the administration's clarity. He blames policy failures on left-wing congressional Democrats accusing them of diverging from the nation's interests. Cruz labels Chuck Schumer as the biggest liar, fueling public distrust in certain politicians. He advocates for transparency and authenticity in politics, receiving praise. Cruz's legal pursuits align with democratic values, emphasizing political integrity and openness. He champions national security, economic stability, and law and order accusing Democrats of neglecting border issues, economic recovery, and rising crime rates. Criticism of the handling of Alejandro Mayorkas's impeachment reinforces doubts about Democratic accountability. Democrats' reluctance for trial, seen as protecting lawmakers from guilty votes, adds to perceptions of opacity and lack of accountability. Scrutiny of the political process, particularly the avoidance of trial in Mayorkas's case, leads to calls for investigations challenging existing norms, aiming for a transparent and responsible political environment. The public expects Republican leadership to push for trials, defending constitutional processes, and rejecting evasion of responsibility.